In a head-on collision, enormous forces are brought to bear on both passengers and cargo. That's especially the case when two different sized cars collide, as in this crash test from 2008. The small Fiat has no chance against the big Audi. Test engineer Andreas Radzek says vehicles were always tested against each other in the past. That meant it was difficult to pinpoint the weaknesses of each car. So a new test procedure is being introduced to analyze how a vehicle's front section behaves in a head-on collision. The car will collide with a basic chassis attached to an aluminum block that crumples on impact. The damage done to the block can then be measured. The idea is to optimize the front sections of all vehicles so they act like a protective shield, absorbing the energy of the impact and protecting the other car too. In America, Tests like these are already being done in the U.S., he says, and European cars haven't scored well in them. Japanese cars fare better. The front sections of their vehicles are designed so they perform better in crash situations. European automakers are only now starting to improve their cars. The Japanese were much quicker off the mark. The German Automobile Club tested three lower mid-range vehicles and achieved similar test results. They show important differences in the design of the car's front sections, with varying impact on the other party involved in the crash. The VW Golf only has a rigid front longitudinal member that bores into the other vehicle during impact. The Renault Megane distributes the forces better, but it's still not optimal. The Honda Civic has a well-designed crumple zone. Here, the force of impact is spread over a wide area. This is the damage left by the VW Golf. This is where the front longitudinal section plowed in. It's left a huge hole. That's why the block has been gashed so badly. The longitudinal member is like a stiletto heel when you stand on someone's foot. The entire weight is concentrated on that one point, creating much greater injury than a sports shoe, for example, where the weight is distributed, thereby reducing the pain. Der die Kraft besser verteilt. This, is jetzt hier der this is the damage left by the Honda Civic. You can see the block has been deformed over a wide area, but there are no major holes. And you can see that it hasn't been crushed that badly, so it could still absorb a lot more energy. Das heißt also, da würde noch einiges an Energie reinpassen. So Honda is certainly on the right path with the Civic. This computer animation shows how little the impact would be if two vehicles like this, that distribute the force of impact through front crossbars, were involved in a head-on collision. The passenger compartment would remain largely protected. The weaknesses in the crumple zone shown by the test could easily be improved with a few design changes. What's needed is for this test to become part of the standard European assessment process, known as Euro NCAP. Improving vehicle design in this way could reduce the number of people killed in accidents by up to 7%.